Welcome friends and welcome to your Yoga Fusion workout. Today this workout was designed for athletes who might be doing a lot of explosive forward motion, baseball players, football players, basketball players, and even as weekend warriors who maybe like to bike, play tennis, or even golf. You know, coaches everywhere are telling their athletes, do yoga because we want you to enhance your performance. Doctors are telling people everywhere, do yoga because it helps prevent injury. So today we're going to do both. We're going to start in mountain pose. I want you to lengthen through your spine. Start nice and tall, palms forward, shoulders down and back. We're going to tune into your breath. So you're going to inhale and you're going to exhale big through your mouth. Try to increase your tidal volume or the amount of air that your lungs can hold. Two more big breaths in and out. And exhale. As you keep breathing with me, I want you to remember that you're in control of your breath. Even when you're feeling stressed, you control your breath, right? Now inhale and pause at the top. Four, three, two, one. And then exhale. Hold your breath. Four, three, two, one. Do that one more time. Inhale up. Pause. Four, three, two, one. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. Good job. One more big breath in. Arms up. And exhale. All right, this time arms up. I want you to find a little flexibility through your spine. And as you bring your arms up, shoulders down and back, you can interlace your thumbs to kind of help keep your arms straight. But I want you to do a little baby back bend and just find a little curvature in your back. And hold. And then open your heart to the ceiling. Come forward with a flat back. We want to kind of protect your back today. Come forward and just relax your fingertips onto the mat or rest your hands on your quads. Either one is fine. But I want you to warm up and have a little twist through the spine. Right hand has you, left arm comes up into fan pose is what this is called. Hold here for three breaths. And with each breath, you guys, I want you to try and twist a little further. Twisting is very good for detoxifying, increasing your range of motion, switch sides. Left hand has you, right arm comes up and hold for three breaths. With each breath, twist a little further. And exhale and come down. Good, come up with a nice flat back. Inhale, arms up. We're gonna bring a little heat into the body. We're gonna inhale. We're gonna exhale into a squat. And I don't care how deep your squat is, you choose. But I want you to incorporate your breath with your movement. So we have seven more. Inhale up, exhale down. Nice job, you guys. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, ex, five more. You can pick up your pace just a little bit. Mostly just want to bring heat to your body. And let's do two more. And one more. Perfect. Now you're going to hold down here, lengthen through the legs, nice flat back. Hands are going to have you. You're going to step back into plank. Shoulders down and back. Shoulders right over your wrist. You're going to hold here. Just feel strong and plank and take a breath over your right shoulder, left shoulder. You're going to lower yourself down to the mat. Good. Now your back is meant to actually bend back and forward. We're going to bend it back and before you do that I just want you to think about pressing your pelvis into the floor, pulling your belly button away from the floor and then lifting up 10 times. Inhale, exhale. So whenever you hyperextend your back, you want to engage your core. And by that I mean, if someone were going to hit you in the gut, you would make your belly strong, right? You would protect that belly. Think about keeping your belly strong as you work through the back. Nice job, you guys. We have five more, four more. And you know your range of motion, but this is to help maybe find a little extra range of motion through that spine. Okay, last two, and one more time. And up and hold, look over your right shoulder, sorry, left shoulder, and look over your right shoulder. Release into child's pose. Reach with your fingertips, draw your shoulders down and back, press your forehead toward the mat. Breathe in, breathe out, perfect. Now, come on to all fours. You can widen your knees a little bit for increased range of motion. You're just gonna start twisting with your upper back. So left arm comes out, 
and lifts. Right arm comes out and lifts. Left arm comes up. Perfect. And right and left. So if you can, watch your hand as it lifts. Each time, see if you can reach a little higher and breathe. Perfect. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Perfect, you guys. We're gonna do about five more. Let's just finish here strong. Five and four. Last three. Last two. And last one. You're gonna stay on all fours. You're gonna push your back up to the ceiling into cat curl. And you're gonna come back to a neutral spine. Bring your right shoulder to your right hip. Left shoulder to your left hip. And we're gonna lower back into the floor. One more set of our hyper extensions. Make sure your belly is strong. Pull your belly button away from that mat. Little tricep lift here, which is a bonus because you're working those triceps. Shoulders down and back. Let's do eight more. Lower. Seven. Good job, you guys. Six. I was holding my breath. Will you guys too? Remember to breathe. Five. Lower. Four. And three. Nice job, you guys. Last one. Two. I lied. One more. All right. All the way back. Release into child's pose. Reach with those fingertips. Shoulders down and back. Maybe you can flatten out just a little further. Release. And then one more time. Come back onto all fours. And let's start our little rotations. Upper body rotations. Perfect. And lift. Inhale. Exhale. Good. If you want a little more range of motion, widen those knees a little bit and lift. And as you do this, think about those of you maybe who are doing a lot of movements forward, how good this is to do that opposition, work in opposition, strengthen these muscles that maybe don't get as worked, worked as much. Let's do five more. Four, lift a little higher, three, and two, one more on each side. Perfect. And come back onto all fours. Cat curl up to the ceiling. Belly button to your spine. Push. Flexibility through your spine. Good. Neutral spine. Left shoulder to left hip. Right shoulder to right hip. Tuck your toes under. You're going to come into your first down dog. So shoulders down and back. Lift through the tailbone. <clears throat> Press away from those hands. And just lift the tailbone up to the sky. Maybe you can draw those heels all the way down. Take a moment here. Give me three big breaths in and out. Two more breaths. One more breath. Perfect. Stretch. Nice. And hold. And we're going to come back to plank. Now, the, stability, the stabilizing muscles in the obliques are really important for explosive movements. So we're going to work through your obliques. We're going to come into plank on your left side. So we're going to hold here, rest this hand on your hip, and let's just hold into plank. Now, if this is ever too hard, you can just bring that lower knee to the floor and extend the hips up to the ceiling. I just want you to feel a stretch there. Now you're going to lower your hips onto the floor. You're going to come into a side plank on the elbow. Now again, you can keep that lower leg on the floor as you lift your hips up to the ceiling 20 times. Or you can come into a side plank with both feet stacked and you're going to lift. So we're going to hold here. We're going to lift up 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Up, up. Good job, you guys. Stay with me. We are halfway done. Let's do 10 more. 10. Nine, eight, seven. If you need to modify, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Rest your hips into the floor. Knees are bent. Your right arm comes under and your left arm comes up and over. And I want you to find some flexibility through your side. Look up at your elbow, palm is forward. Lengthen that arm back and reach and stretch. Big breath in, big breath out. Perfect. Let's switch sides. Okay, same thing. We're going to start in side plank, shoulder right over the elbow, right over your wrist. Here we are, up into side plank, 
and hold here. Your arm can be up, your arm can be down, but I just want you to hold and feel strong here. Big breath in, big breath out. Nice job. All right, lower that knee, lower the elbow. And for some of you, maybe with back pain, you can hold here and just feel a stretch. We can start doing our little lifts with your knee on the floor or your legs stacked. You choose where you want to be. Lift, up, up. Good job, you guys. You're doing great. You want to try to keep as high as you can, not really sinking into the mat. You're doing awesome. You've done 10, almost. You have 10 more to go. Come on, up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, last five. You can do it, four, three, two, and just hold, and then release those hips into the floor. Knees are bent. All right, let's find a little flexibility through that hip. We just work through those obliques. Left arm comes under, right arm comes up. Look up at that elbow and reach up and over. Nice job, you guys. Hold for two more breaths here. Excellent job. All right, we're still working through those obliques. You're gonna come onto your knees and extend your right leg out. Okay, belly strong, working the sides of the body to help support you and stabilize you and help strengthen your back. Arms come up, reach over to the side. Again, if you can keep those arms straightened together, that's our goal. And sometimes if it's a little easier, interlace those thumbs together as you lift up eight times. And reach out, seven, reach, six. And depending on how strong you are, you may want to really increase this range of motion, reach a little further. Totally up to you. Let's do four more. Breathe three, last two, and last one. Now I want you to hold. So we're holding an isometric or holding pattern here, and I just want you to hold, focus on the breath. This part I think is the hardest. Three more breaths. Good, and then we have eight more little lifts. Ready? All right, my arms are tired. I'm interlacing my thumbs to help me. Here we go, eight, reach, seven, Reach, six, we're almost there, five more. Last four, you can do it, four, and three, last two, and last one. Nice job. Bring your knees in and bring your heels back over the knees. I want you to reach over to the left and bring your hips over to the right. You're gonna feel a nice stretch through those obliques. Then you're gonna reach over to the right Pull your hips over to the left. Pull away, stretch. Hands have you on the knees, and we're gonna come up. Now, before we come to the other side, again, today's workout, we really wanna gain flexibility through your spine. I want you to make a fist with your hands. Bring your hands behind you. Squeeze your inner thighs together, and let's find a little bend through the back. So you're gonna inhale, exhale, now, for some of you, this is going to be plenty right here. For, other you, uh, for others, you may be able to reach back a little further. So you find your own range of motion. And I just want you to open through the chest and stretch through that back. Give me four breaths here. Nice job, you guys. Come on to all fours, just release through that back. Hands on the knees, walk up, and let's switch sides. So, right leg has you, left leg comes out. Reach up and over to this side, and here we go, little lifts up. Eight, reach, seven, reach, six. So a lot of the muscles that are working here, like I said, are your obliques that help stabilize you, help strengthen through your core, the more you move, the more range of motion you have, the harder you're gonna work. Let's just do three more. You're doing awesome. Three, last, two, last one. And then we're gonna hold again. So you're gonna really reach, open through that shoulder a little bit. Just hold for three more breaths. And we have eight more little lifts. You can do it, ready? Here we go. Eight, reach seven, 
and six. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Perfect, let's do three more. Three, reach, two, reach, one, and you're done. All right, bring your arms in, shake out your shoulders. One more time, we're gonna do a little bend through the back. So roll onto the inner knees, squeeze your inner thighs, lift your pelvic floor, make those fists, and just bring the hips forward, relax the neck back. Feel a stretch through the front of the neck. You choose where you wanna be. Hold for three breaths. One more breath, because it kind of felt good to be back there. And bring your chin forward, hands are gonna have you. Tuck your toes under, come on up, back into down dog. We're gonna transition into balance, so I want you to walk your feet in. Come up with a nice flat back, one vertebrae at a time, up. And here we go, big breath in, arms up. And exhale, perfect. Shake out your shoulders. Okay, as we move into balance, Remember what I told you the first of the workout, you know, coaches are saying do yoga because we don't want you to get injured. Well, when you balance and you do balance exercises, it does, it prevents you from spraining your ankle. And it makes all those little muscles strong. So left leg is going to have you, right leg is going to come back. Super easy. We're just going to reach forward 10 times. Try not to touch your back leg. And if you can only reach halfway down, it's fine. We're going to do eight more. Lift. Seven. And this is one of those exercises that just looks super easy, but when you do it, it's a little harder. Perfect, let's do five more. Five, up, four. Remember, you're keeping your belly in nice and strong. Do two more, last two. Now this one you're gonna hold down, hands are gonna have you. So you're gonna hold here, now your left hand and your left foot has you, fingertips or your palm. Your right arm is gonna come up toward the sky. You're gonna flex your back foot. You're gonna lift through that back leg. You're gonna pretend like you're leaning against a wall. And if you want more of a balance challenge, look out to the side or up toward that hand. You're gonna hold for three more breaths here. called a half moon pose. Now the right arm's gonna come down. You're gonna revolve this. Your toes behind you are gonna face down. And then your left arm is gonna come up. And again, twisting through that spine, detoxifying, strengthening your core, improving on your balance. Give me three breaths here. Learning to breathe through hard things. You can take that into your life. Remember, you can breathe through hard things. You can get through hard things. Hands have you, forehead towards your shin, lengthen that back leg as high as you can, lift, 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 and lower. Bending through the knees, fold your arms behind the knees, just lengthen and lengthen through the back, release. Hands have you, just a forward fold, hands on your thighs, help you help roll up one vertebrae at a time. Nice job, you guys. Woo, okay. Good job on that side. Now to kind of just release through your back, I want to bring your hands in your hips. Just draw a little circle through those hips. And you may need an extra stretch here. If you find one spot that might be kind of tight, I want you to hold that spot if you're hurting a little bit through that back. Okay, just walk it out a little bit and let's switch sides. So right leg has you this time. Left leg comes back. Remember, belly up and in like someone's gonna hit you in the gut. Your belly is strong, shoulders down and back. Let's just begin reaching down and up 10 times. Reach and lift. Eight more. Inhale, exhale. Good job, you guys. Stay with me. You're doing great. Think of all those little muscles firing and getting stronger as you balance. Three more times. Three, up, two, up, one more. Hold here, nice. Right hand has you, right foot has you. 
Left arm comes up, flex the back foot, lift, press that heel back. Holding into this half moon pose, challenge your balance here. You can look out, you can look up toward that hand. I know, right? It's hard to hold here. Three more breaths. Now as you exhale, lower that left arm and bring your right arm up. Just revolve that, wring out that waist. Look up toward that right hand or out to the side or down. Find your own challenge with your balance. Let's breathe three breaths. Nice job, lower. Hands have you, forehead toward the shin. Lift that back leg as high as you can. It's interesting when you kind of compare sides, the difference in the sides. And lower. Feet have you, come back to a chair pose. Bring your arms forward and just hold. Bring your ears right between those arms. Hold here, bring a little strength into the quads. Give me three breaths here. Power pose, feel strong. Perfect. And we're gonna transition into some flexibility. Hands are gonna have you, lengthen through the legs. Feet have you, hands have you. Just hold here and stretch. And then step back into down dog. Good, now press those heels into the floor. Right leg is going to have you, left leg is going to lift. So lift through that leg, your knee is bent, kind of like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. Lift through that hip, press your weight back, lift through the knee, and hold here. Now from there, that left knee is going to come into the chest, the left leg is going to step between the hands, and wiggle that back leg back. Bring your hands to the inside. We're gonna find a little hip flexibility here. So, first come onto the hands and hold. Shoulder comes into the knee. Good, relax that back knee down. Now you might hold right here and just bring your heel to the glute. Cause I want you to find a little quad stretch here. So you can hold here. You can reach with that left arm back, reach for your foot, bring that heel toward the glute and hold there or you might be able to bring this right elbow down, find a little chest opening there, and bring that foot towards your glute. Three big breaths there. Nice, go ahead and release through the back leg. Strengthen and stretch through that front leg. Just release, find a little hamstring stretch. Perfect, hands come into the inside, and you're gonna switch sides. Hands have you, shoulders down and back. Lift back into down dog. Draw those heels down and back. This time the left leg has you, and the right leg lifts. Flex that back foot, lift through the knee, open through the hip. You can even look over your left shoulder and see that heel. Keeping your weight equal through the hands. Press away, and then step forward with that foot coming right in between the hands and lower. Hands to the inside, finding that stretch through your hips. Hold here, draw the back knee to the floor and you can hold right here or you can hold here. Nice, you feel that quad stretch? It should feel good. Maybe you can reach behind you, go get that foot, bring it towards you. Maybe you can lower that elbow into the floor and hold here. Three big breaths in and out. A little more quad stretch. With each breath, you should be able to challenge that stretch just a little bit more and release. Straighten through the front leg. Little hamstring stretch. Chest toward the knee. Good. Now hands to the inside, back to the hips. We're gonna come back into plank, into a strong plank. Your right leg is gonna sweep up and through as high as you feel like you can. You're gonna roll through the front of that foot and you're gonna sink into a little stretch. Kind of a little tricep dip here. So upper body has you. Look over your right shoulder. If you have pretty good flexibility through your hips, you may not feel this. But if your hips are tight, you will feel this stretch. Good, release, come back, switch legs. Left leg comes through. Press that inner foot toward the floor. Sink into that stretch. Look over the left shoulder. 
hold, sink, upper body work here, two breaths, and come back. Nice job. Walk this out again. I'm going to have you walk your legs up and all the way through, and you're going to have a seat. And bring your legs forward. Shake out your legs. Again, find a little flexibility through your hamstrings. So you're going to feel a better stretch if you rest your hands on your quads and lean forward and keep a nice flat back than if you hunch forward. So shoulders down and back, reach forward, hands to your quads. Maybe you can reach for your toes. Draw your shoulders down and back, stretching through those hamstrings. Breathe, two more breaths in and out. Maybe you can grab your big toes. Maybe you can bring your hands to the bottom of your feet. Maybe you can lift your feet. So wherever you are, it's fine. Just keep a nice flat back. Good, shoulders down, relax. Hands to your quads, up nice and easy. Back to hips, left leg is straight. Right leg comes up and maybe can rest over onto the quad. So see if you can just get a little bend through that leg. And then again, remember keeping your back nice and tall, shoulders down and back. Lean forward here. So find wherever you are with your flexibility and just accept that, like that's where you are today and that's fine. One thing about yoga people will say is, I can't do it, I'm not flexible. We'll start wherever you are and know that that's fine. It's great where you are and you can always improve on that. Give me two more breaths. Maybe you can reach forward. Now you're either gonna stay here for three more breaths or you're gonna bend this knee and you're gonna reach forward with those hips. So ideally your weight actually would be shifted forward, but I'm feeling a great stretch in my hips here. My hips are always super tight. Give me two more breaths. One more breath. Perfect. Have a seat, straighten out those legs. Nice job, you guys. Now, before we go to the other side, we're gonna do a little strength through the back and through the spine. So you're gonna bring your arms forward, you're gonna roll back one vertebrae at a time. Release, nice. Now, feet have you, hands have you. You're gonna lift up into bridge. Love how this makes your back feel. Lift as high as you can. Your first option is here. Your second option is to bring your thumbs on the inside of your feet, fingers on the outside of your feet. Kind of tuck your shoulders down and back and lift a little bit higher. Open your airway. Three big breaths in and out here. Good. Hands have you again. Extend the right leg out. And then switch. Extend the left leg out. Switch. Nice job. You have six more to go. Six and five. Keeping your hips as high as you can. Reach with those toes. Lengthen and switch and switch. Last one. You're just gonna hold again. Find that height. Lift, lift, lift. Now, if your tailbone was a tail, if your spine was a tailbone, I want you to think about uncurling your tail. Uncurling that spine one vertebrae at a time. Four, three, two, one. Bring your knees into your chest. We're gonna rock and roll here. Rock back and rock up and stop. Use your muscles in your belly to make you strong here and hold. This is one option. This is another option, hold. You can switch side to side, four, switch. Squeeze your knees together, switch, and two, and one. Nice job, knees in, feet down, and here we go, other side, hip flexibility. Right leg has you, left leg comes up. And it doesn't really matter what flexibility you have. Just start somewhere. So you could even bring your foot here and start leaning forward. Or you can bring that foot onto the quad. So you choose, reach forward. Remember, shoulders back, open through the chest, and just reach forward. Maybe you can reach for your feet, for your foot, and hold here. Three big breaths in and out. With each breath, try to gain a little more flexibility. Good, work on your ascent, come back up. Bend through that lower leg only if you can and see if you can bring your glutes toward that heel. And this is just an option. If you have tight hips, just do the best you can. You're doing awesome. Way to stay with me, you guys. We are almost done. 
Two more big breaths here. One more, I wanna hear you breathe. Good. Nice. Straighten out that leg. And one more time, we're gonna come into bridge. So, hands come here, lower one vertebrae down. You've been here before, you know right what to do. Lift through those hips again, hold as high as you can. Hands have you. Let's go ahead and extend one leg out at a time. Eight, switch, seven, switch, six, lengthening that lower back. Lift as high as you can. Get that height. Good job, you guys. Breathe in, out. Last bridge, come up as high as you can, up to the ceiling, lift, lift, lift. Maybe you can reach those thumbs to the inside of the heels, fingers to the outside. Hold, extend the airway, breathe. Good, now begin to uncurl that spine. Are you ready? Eight, seven, control, manipulate your back. Four, three, two, and one. Knees in. Okay, so one great stretch that most physical therapists will tell you to do is it's called happy baby stretch for your hips and release through the low back. But you bring your hands up to the feet. You can bring the hands to the outside of the feet. And here's what you want to remember. You want to push your feet up into the hands, but then you want to pull the hands down toward the ground. So it's 50% pushing up. It's 50% pulling down and then you want to broaden your back and press those shoulder blades into the floor. Close your eyes. Give me three big breaths in and out. Maybe you can bring those hips out a little further. Nice. And bring the heels in. Good job, you guys. Now, stay in a supine position. Shake the legs out. We're just going to stretch your psoas muscles that run above the hips. So, bend the knees. Right leg comes up, comes to the outside of the knee, draw the knee down. Arms can be out, look at your opposite shoulder that your knee is going. Hold for three breaths. Good, switch sides. Other leg on top of that foot, on top of that knee. Look in the opposite direction. Three big breaths in and out. Really good job, you guys. All right, knees in, let's rock and roll, come up and bend the legs, sit up nice and tall, hands are gonna have you. One of my favorite exercises for the lower back, come back into plank, lower yourself onto the floor, and we're gonna come into scorpion stretch. So, left arm comes out, right hand has you, right foot comes up and over, and stretch through that lower back, and switch sides. So you're also going to get a great stretch to the outer part of the chest there. Up and over, stretch. And you might come into the stretch. You might want to stay here because it just feels good. That lower back, for me, just gets a nice release. It feels great. Let's do one more on each side. Nice and easy. Press that shoulder into the floor and stretch. Nice job. One more time, other side. Roll and stretch. Excellent job. Now, hands have you again. Tuck your toes under. Come up to plank. Come back to down dog. Perfect. Let's walk your feet through. You can also little do, do a little hop. Hop forward. A little pause there. Feet have you. Cross the legs. Have a seat. One more stretch for the low back. Lower yourself all the way down to the ground. And right leg is straight. Left knee comes in, release those muscles in the low back, and then extend that leg up, arms out, bring that leg up and over. Look in the opposite direction. Whenever you twist and you're lying on the floor, you can really work on the depth of the stretch. When you're sitting and you twist, you always want to make sure and really lengthen through the spine. Let's switch legs. Other leg is straight, this knee comes in, right knee comes in, you can bring the forehead to the knee, stretch, arms come out, leg comes up, and 
over. Look in the opposite direction. Press that left shoulder, or I'm sorry, stretch. Press that right shoulder into the floor, into your mat. Good job, you guys. I love kind of this stretch and how it makes you feel like you're putting your back back together. Now, come back with your knees in, tuck and curl. You're gonna rock and roll. You're gonna rock back. You're gonna come up into a sitting position. You did a great job today. Really good way to strengthen your back, increase your flexibility. Give me just a few more minutes here. Palms up, shoulders down and back. Now I want you to focus in on your breathing again. Picture a space in the top of your head. And through that space, I want you to let in positive energy and positive thoughts like fearlessness, feel empowered, feel strong, feel like you have the ability to do anything. And then through this tiny space here, you're gonna let go of anything you need to get rid of. It might be stress, it might be doubt, it might be anything that doesn't make you feel great. So I want you to exhale and get rid of that, okay? Inhale the good, big breath out, label it, get rid of it. Good, two more times in, exhale out. One more time, exhale. Okay, I really need one more big breath in and out. Ready, inhale, and exhale. Stress, doubt, whatever it is, just get rid of it. Good job, you guys. Okay, I want you to come all the way forward, hands have you, and come back onto your hands and your feet. And I want you to bring your feet down, toes forward. It's kind of like you're, I think of a bird kind of per perching. We're gonna hold here and I want you to try to work on bringing your heels down. And maybe you don't even need your hands to support you forward. Maybe you can bring those feet back and bring your hands next to the heart. Shoulders down and back. And then bring the hands forward again and just lean into this and get an inner thigh stretch. If you wanted to, you could bring your belly in and up, shoulders down and back, or shoulders kind of rolled in and you could have your hands support you spreading the weight throughout each finger. Hold for five breaths here, or you're just having a nice inner thigh stretch. Either one, maybe you can hold yourself here, a little upper body strength. Feet have you, fingertips have you. Let's extend the legs, nice flat back. Let's come into a nice half arch again. Just let your body adjust and then hands to the legs, roll up. Nice job, you guys take one more big breath in, arms up, inhale, little baby back bend, and exhale. One more big breath in, and exhale. So namaste means the good in me sees the good in you, so the good in me does see the good in you. Awesome job today, you guys. Good job, give yourself a hand, good work.